The key thing about DevOps for me is that it really is descriptive of a culture and a cultural change that we've all gone through in the software engineering world over the last 10 plus years. And that shift is about developers really understanding the role of the operator, operators understanding the role of the developer, and ultimately working together really effectively. DevOps is important because it's about collaboration. You can read a lot of blog posts, you can see things everywhere about it, but ultimately what it really comes down to is do you work together well with others? If you're working well with others and collaborating, you're probably solving the problems that need to be solved. We still have different jobs and different roles in many cases. I am an engineering manager at CircleCI. Principal software engineer at CircleCI. I'm director of engineering at CircleCI. I am the SRE manager, CTO of CircleCI. I'm the vice president of the platform organization inside of engineering. We've learned from each other, from different people with different skill sets, but taking advantage of everything that each of us has learned to be better at doing all of that in a very cohesive, collaborative way. What I work on is trying to enable the entire engineering organization here to succeed. A lot of times that feels like being the duct tape in every scene. We're the, the people in the basement that you very rarely know about. Our job is to make the tools, and design the system so that what the engineers create and deploy can run effectively. Having that longer term strategy and that longer term holistic view of thinking about how do all the pieces fit together, those things are really important. Some of the most important concepts we talk about in the DevOps space are resilience, scalability, reliability. All of those things are not just important when we're talking about systems, but also when we're talking about how we're building teams and how teams are working together. We influence the engineers to be DevOps we try to show them the best way to write their code, to deploy their code, to monitor and maintain their code. Um, sharing is more important basically than everything else having to do with DevOps. And that includes problems. So, you know, if you have a big incident, talk about it and figure out why it happened and what did you learn from it? And not whose fault it was, but how would you learn from it and make it so that it didn't occur the same way the next time. And that all comes down to iterations, small, uh, discrete, executable chunks. The way that you can provide more value than you could before is by creating a feedback loop with the customer. So the developer is putting that all the way out to production. They're seeing how the customers are using it, reacting to it. They're seeing when it goes down in production and having to fix it. And all that information is flowing back to the developer and helping them do a better job. We're operating in a really fast moving market. We need to get our work in front of customers as early as possible. That's not just something that we owe to our customers, but also something we owe to our teams. Being users of our own software, we want our product to get better. You can't fix everything all in one go, and nor should you try to. It's a marathon, it's not a sprint. When you have a DevOps transformation, you're going to regress. It is not a linear transformation. You will not go from step one to step two to step three. You will go from step one to two and a half to 4.5 to 1.1 and back. And the reason is that you'll get some maturity, you'll learn more, and you'll realize the stuff that you skipped. And that's okay. Every single organization does this. To a team that wanted to get started with DevOps, I would really give the, the same advice that I give in so many different scenarios, which is to start small, getting quick wins, learning from those, and finding the, the approach that's going to work for you as an organization. Because ultimately, DevOps, CI, CD, all of these things, they're tools, they're practices, but they're culture. So start small, figure out how it fits into your culture, and then measure your success. Ultimately, being able to have a feedback loop on the process that you're adopting will help you to really adopt it appropriately for you and see those wins and then build on it.